The UFC's rankings, and in particular its pound for pound rankings, have been a source of constant debate amongst its fans since their introduction back in 2013. Seeing as their very purpose is to allow us to measure the merits and achievements of the sports elite without actually seeing them fight, the rankings do in essence remain nothing more than a side note when compared to the actual divisional rankings. With that being said, the coveted pound for pound number one spot is a very real and tangible thing, a title that in itself motivates fighters to succeed. And while the sports pound for pound king has undoubtedly been UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones for the majority of the last five or so years, the noise being made by the reigning lightweight champion Khabib Nurmagomedov has become too loud to ignore. I'm going to chime in with my own take on these two men and how exactly their form and past achievements stack up against each other. But first we must take a moment to establish exactly what it is that we are asking here. The UFC rankings are decided upon by a select number of media members who poll their votes after every UFC event, leading to the various changes in placement that happen every month. As far as I can tell, however, there are no exact guidelines given in order to establish the criteria under which these fighters are judged. If you took one quick look through the individual media members' selections when they were once available to view on the official rankings, you would have very quickly seen that inconsistency and personal bias were rampant. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to attempt to establish our own criteria, one that in some ways takes from the evidence presented by the top 15 as a whole. So with that out of the way, Here's our take on the two-horse race between John Jones and Khabib Nurmagomedov. I think firstly I'm going to take a look at each man's resume and more importantly how much of it actually factors into his placement on this list. Do we judge a fighter based on the last three years, the last five years or do we consider a fighter's career overall? For me this becomes a lot easier due to the fact that neither man has lost inside the cage. There's going to be no answer I can give here that makes everybody happy, but let's make two things very clear. John Jones has not been as impressive or as dominant as Khabib has been over the last three years. On the flip side, Khabib simply does not have the resume or the impressive reign that John does. When looking at a fighter on a run of form, is it not fair to say that you almost hit a reset button on the clock once they suffer a defeat? Look at Max Holloway, Tony Ferguson, Dustin Poirier, all fighters who started incredible winning streaks on the back of a loss, all fighters who were judged or are continuing to be judged based purely on the run of form that they were on in that point of time. In the cases of Poirier and Holloway, that clock has been reset more or less. If they regain their momentum, it'll be hailed as a resurgence or an almighty revival, but above all else, it will be hailed as a new era in their career. What I'm trying to say here is that there has been no reset in either John Jones or Khabib's trajectories. We haven't had the opportunity to take a step backwards and evaluate a patch of form or success. Excellence is all either man has ever known and all that they have ever been judged by. John Jones was the pound for pound king when Khabib joined the UFC and now, despite the years that have passed him by, he still finds himself at the top. So is Jones simply at the top due to his past achievements, given that Khabib has arguably been more emphatic in his performances of late? And if John is simply ahead due to his resume, is that really a problem? Combat sports at their very core have been defined by the notion that only one man can sit at the top of the mountain. Once you're sitting in that position, the eyes of the world are now on you, the target on your back has never been greater. Jones is on top because he never lost, he never had to find himself at a point where he needed to hit reset on that clock. Say what you want about the Thiago Santos and Dominic Reyes fights, they still stand as wins on his record and we must stay consistent in that regard. Khabib, though also undefeated, just cannot compete with the longevity of John just yet. Jones has been on the same run of form since he first set foot into an MMA cage 12 years ago. Do not make the mistake of forgetting how significant and completely unique that is. Of course, there is more than enough time for the Eagle to stake his claim, and in any other situation he would be a shoo-in for number one. Even with the look at the rankings, at how fighters like Conor McGregor and Max Holloway are placed, based more so on their career achievements than their recent form, it's clear that the work you have done over the years has at least some bearing on your placement on the pound for pound rankings. And to be honest, I can understand why. Khabib at this point can only truly be faulted for those things he has very little control over. Sure, if he had fought more maybe he would have provided a stronger argument when compared to Jones, but we're dipping into speculation there. What is certain here is that while we are indeed starting to see the competition close the gap on John, he has been on top of the game for a decade now and that, in itself, as an achievement, trumps all in my opinion. As always we'd love to hear your own opinion on this matter, in particular in the comments section and if you enjoy the content be sure to like and subscribe.